What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a dope team for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Swift Swim Kingdra team alongside with Moxie Gyarados. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. That really blows my mind, and I cannot wait to hit that milestone. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Dan. Dan, shout out to you for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. Guys, if you want to send me rental codes, like I just said, drop them in my Instagram DMs. There is my name right below my face cam. And if you head down to the description, there is a link to my Instagram page right there. But this team, getting started with it, we got Gyarados in that top left corner. A Pokemon I absolutely love and been wanting to use it for so long now. And I finally got my hands on it, so I cannot wait to get after it. We got Moxie as its ability, Assault Vest as its item so we can soak up special attacking shots, Waterfall and Bounce for Stab, then we got Power Whip and EQ for our coverage moves. Right next to him, we got that Alolan Malwak right here, Lightning Rod and Thick Club. Lightning Rod is going to help protect that Gyarados from Lightning moves. Same thing with that Politoed and Kingdra, considering they're super effective to all three of them. We got Flare Blitz and Poltergeist for our stab moves. We got Boomerang and Detect as are both our coverage moves, but the other one acts as like a little protect. Middle left is Tornado, a great support mod for this team. Prankster ability, Focus Sash so we don't get one tap. We got Hurricane that's going to hit 100% of the time in the rain. We got Rain Dance to set up the weather, Tailwind to double our speed, and Protect as our final move. Kingdra right next to him has the weakness policy on this team. Swift Swim as well so we double speed in the rain. Hurricane, Draco Meteor, Hydro Pump, and Protect. Normal moveset for Kingdra. But what throws me off is the weakness policy here. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how that's going to play out. Because most Kingdras rock Life Orb. And it works really, really well. So hopefully weakness policy can work just as well. We can pick up some wins with it. Bottom left corner, we got Rillaboom, Grassy Surge, and Miracle Seed. Do I really have to say anything else about this Pokemon? Phenomenal Pokemon on any single team. We got Grassy Glide, Wood Hammer, both for stab, knock off, take off items, and protect as our final move. Final Pokemon is going to that Politoed, Drizzle. We can set the rain with him just by getting him into battle. We got that Citrus Berry to get some more HP. Scald, Muddy Water, both for stab, helping hand and make ally Pokemon do more damage and protect as our final move. Guys, you want to try out this team for yourself? Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked up ladder. Try to get some wins with this Swift Swim Kingdra and Moxie Gyarados team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Steam Engine Colossal team. He also has Landers for the Intimidate. He's got Celesteela, Storm Drain Gaston, who we really have to watch out for considering we have Polytoed, Kingdra, and Gyarados. And then he has Tornadus and Quillfish. I really do wonder what Quillfish does because I have no idea. I really have no idea. I definitely got to bring Rillaboom in for that Storm Drain Gaston. Um, I might lead a Water Pokemon. I could go Tornadus into a Gyarados, which isn't bad here. So if I can get that off, we could be chilling. We got Rillaboom. I definitely got to bring him in. And then in the final spot, do I go Malwak? I think Malwak could be a little bit better over the Kingdra. Because if you go Storm Drain Gastron, it's not look good for us. Storm Drain Gastron can do is dirty, but Kingdra's really good. Either Kingdra or Malwak. I think I might just go Malwak here. Get that Thick Club. And again, after he does have uh, Landers, who's going to be able to dump on that. A lot of Pokemon... We'll dump on this thing. But I kind of just want him over to Kingdra. I just think that's the play. I think having him is going to be the play. Maybe we should have brought Kingdra, but let's go with that Malwak. Guys, if you like anything that you see on this team, we got that Poke Pace down in the description below. Definitely go check it out. We got all the EVs, the items, every single stat down there. So if you guys are liking anything on this team, go check it out. Because recently I asked question of the day that was, uh, what can I do to make this channel better? And all you guys said, hey, we need some Poke Pace. So for now on, I got you guys. Just check the description for any single time you want to look at Poke Pace. Uh, but this guy goes with the Storm Drain Gastron into the Colossal. I knew I should have led the, uh... I knew I should have led the, uh, what's it called? The Rillaboom. But how can I roll out with this one? I could go into a, uh, Tailwind. I think I might do. I could go for an EQ, or not EQ, a Max Quake, or I could go for an Overgrowth. I might go into an Overgrowth onto that. No, he's gonna drop a rock on me. That's so tough. What do I want to do here? He's going to drop a rock on me. It's going to be a heavy rock. I do have an Assault Vest. Uh, I think I have the Tailwind here. I'm going to Tailwind, and I am going to go for that uh, Overgrowth, I guess. Into the Gastron slot, because it will be four times super effective, which is really good. Really, really good for us. So we're going to go for that. He might Dynamax that Colossal. Let's just see what he does. Let's just see what he does. I knew I should have went to Rillaboom. Rillaboom, we could just send an easy glide. Pick up a big KO. But this is not stag. 
So hopefully, I'm, I'm still hoping we can pick up this KO on the Gastron. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one. Let's see how this plays out. You gonna Dynamax? It probably is right. Yeah, there's a Dynamax coming out from Colossal. Colossal Steam Engine is such a good combo. It's always been good, but it hasn't always been like overpowered. You know. Usually, like, it used to, like, for a good, like, I guess, month, it was, like, dude, everyone's using it. It's really, really strong, but it's never hit that point where it's just, like, absolutely broken. So, I really do like this combo. I do like it a lot. Gotta watch out for that storm, dude. Yeah, I'm coming out here. Um, we should be able to outspeed this thing, because if we can take this thing out, it's gonna be GG's. Because then he cannot get that boost. The weakest policy and all that. Come on, take him out. Do him dirty, Garrus. Do him dirty. Get him out of here. Get him out my face. There's my Moxie boost. I outspeed. There's no way he's KOing my uh my Gyarados in one shot here. And hopefully he's going after Tornadas. We'll see. We'll see what's happening here. There's my Moxie boost. If I can get off a uh a max geyser onto that thing, I can one tap it, no problem. Here goes his Volkleth. Go into Tornadas. Go into Tornadas. No shot, but just please do it. Oh he does! He does go into Tornadas. I do enjoy that. I do like that a lot. Okay, so Tornadas is gonna go down here. We had the focus hash, but the Volcut damage is going to take them out. Sorry, Tornado. You did your job, though. You got off a nice, lovely Tailwind. We got rid of that Gastron. We got a Moxie Boost in there as well. I love this Pokemon. We're just slowly setting up here. Slowly setting up. I am going to bring out Rillaboom. Take off whatever item I want. Dang, I should have brought the Kingdra. The Kingdra would have been nasty here. Rillaboom's going to get flying out here. And then who's going to be his next Pokemon? I'm probably going to take off the second Maybe Celestial. Yeah, I gotta get rid of uh, Celestial's item all day. Might Air Slash on me. I wish I did have Fake Out on here. I could protect, but I'm gonna say, hey, give me that item. And I'm just gonna drop a Geyser. Lovely little Geyser and say, yo, get out of here. Get this dang Steam Engine Colossal out my face. It's gonna be four times super effective with that Moxie boost, with the Stab boost. We're not playing around here today. We're not playing around. He ends up guarding that smart little cookie. Smart little cookie ends up garden. Gonna do nothing. Uh, we're gonna be able to take off item, which is great here. What are you rocking? You rocking leftovers? Just give them to me. Decent damage there as well. Yep, give me your leftovers. And he's gonna seed me up. You son of a gun. Alright, we're just gonna drop another geyser here. Rain's gonna be great for us. He's just having pester damage go around. Rocks being thrown. We do have the grass terrain, which is gonna give us HP, but then the Celestial is just seeding up. That son of a biscuit. That son of a biscuit. Alright, I see you. I see you. Uh, we could go for that glide. Glide could be the play, but I think knockoff's gonna do a little bit more damage. Or do we think Woodhammer's gonna do more damage? I might just protect here. Protect that air slash. Get this geyser rolling again. And go from there. That's gonna definitely gonna be the play. Gonna end up with all on that Pokemon. He's gonna show his last Pokemon. But we're gonna get rain started, and I think we have one more turn in Tailwind after this. Let's just see. You go in the Quillfish. Lovely little Quillfish. Who does have Intimidate. <laughs> Quillfish has Intimidate. Gonna bring us back down to normal. Smart little play there. Protecting to come out from my roll boom. And we're gonna get after that way. Here goes the Geyser. Spewing that out. Dude, Kingdra would have been lovely here. Get some damage off on him. Just a little bit, but more importantly, getting that rain. Lovely little rain. Rain, rain, rain. Right, this one's going to be a close battle. It's going to be real close. There's that air slash that I was waiting for. Waiting for that air slash all day. And we're just taking pester damage left and right, which I don't like. I don't like one bit. That Quillfish might be Swift Swim. Why do I have a weird feeling he learned Swift Swim? He can't be Swift Swim. He is Intimidate. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? So we have one more turn left in the Tailwind, which is lovely. So I am probably just going to go for like... A wood hammer on that quillfish, try to get rid of him. That might be our play here. Let's just see. Let's just see. I think wood hammer is going to be our play here. You do outspeed it, and I really want to get rid of that. And then just waterfall over onto this uh, Celestia. Trying to get off as much damage as we possibly can. Protect's going to come out from the quillfish. Hey, yo, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. Here's my waterfall. Can we get a flinch on that thing? Flinch would be nice here as well. We're just KO. Or just do him dirty with a crit. Give me my Moxie boost back out here. I know we're outspeeding that uh that Colossal. So that's lovely. That is that's huge. That is huge. Woodhammer coming out. Hitting the block. Alright, so it comes down to a 2v3. Yeah, 2v3. 
I gotta hope this Gyarados outspeeds these guys, which I think he does, right? I believe he does. So I am just gonna go for a wood hammer here. I'm gonna do the same thing, wood hammer into waterfall. There's a 140, I'm like 140 something, right? Yeah, I believe that's my stat. Let me check my speed. We have like 147. It's totally gonna be able to outspeed. I can see a protect coming in from the, uh, the what's called slot. We could protect, but I, I feel like we have to at least post that threat to him, you know? Let's check summary here. Let's check the speeds. 105, yeah, 146. And then we got a 6. Alright, let's do it. Let's get after it. Woodhammer, coming at you, cool fish. We're coming after you. Waterfall, coming at you. He's probably going to protect that uh, boss. No, he's just going to go for an Aqua Jet. Oh, and he, he's proccing. Oh. Hey! Yo! This dude's crazy. A little Aqua Jet action there. And the weakness policy. You going for a Rock Slide? You know, he's going for a heat wave. Little boom avoids. That's huge. Uh, we should be able to eat that up, right? Wow. That was that was like his one last his last ditch effort right there. That was definitely his last ditch effort. He didn't have rock slide or anything. So he went for that heat wave. He was looking for the double KO. And it didn't work out for him. But yo, props to him for going for that. I do give him props there. But Moxie Gyarados just overpowering here, left and right. Lovely. Wood hammers can come in here. Should be able to finish this one off with the grassy surge. Oh, bring him down the one. We bring him down the one, and this thing, this cool fish is surviving. This cool fish is surviving. Dude, I just love Boxy Gyarados team. I, I seem to play really good with them all the time. It's very simple to use, very fun, and it's really effective. But we're going to start off today's video 1 and 0. Oh, try to get that win streak. Or, yeah, our win streak's been rolling. We've been getting winning records left and right, which is really, really cool. Uh, I think it's just Waterfall's going to be the player. Has high accuracy, but he's probably just gonna cancel battle. Let's see what he does. There it is. Battle was canceled. One and zero to get this video started. Big victory in battle number one. We started off with that max overgrowth to pick up that KO into that Gastron slot. Got that Moxie boost. Rolled out from there and had ourselves a huge victory. We're hopping into our second battle, going up against a Tyranitar team alongside with Sand Rush, Dracofish, Celestia, Regilecki, Intimidate, Incineroar, and Grimmsnarl. He's got a lot to offer here. He does have a lot to offer. Um. I kind of want to just go into Tornadus and Kingdra. Because I can change weather whenever I want with, with Tornadus, which is really, really nice. I really don't see us using Polito too much today. Um, I want to go into Malak just for the sheer fact is we have a uh, Lightning Rod, which could be nice. But I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. I'm going to go Gyarados. And then I think Rillaboom might have to be this final Pokemon. He does have Intimidate, which I really do have to watch out for. That Regilecki could be scary at the same time. Could be scary, but I, I think we're fine here. I really do think we're fine. I can set up rain. I can get after that with Swift Swim. I maybe should have went into that Gyarados. Maybe should have went into that Gyarados, but we'll see what happens here. But I really do like having that uh, change up for the sheer fact if he goes into Draco first. Then I can change weather, hit him with a super effective Dragon Stab move, and get him out the way easily. So that's really my thought process behind it, but... Hopefully we can go back to back. We're looking for it. We're looking to guarantee ourselves that perfect record. And there's that Draco fish and a T-Tar. So we got these two guys rocking out here. I think I'm just going to Dynamax that Kingdra. And we're going to get after it that way. I think that's 100% the play. Change up weather. Dynamax, Max one win. KO that Draco fish. Get a minus one onto that Tyranitar. Right? Pretty good play. I dig it. I dig this play a lot. Worm win coming at you. Let's do it. Let's get rid of this Draco fish. Let's see Sand Rush. Times two speed. He's going to get off that Fishish Ren, and Fishish Ren could do a lot of damage on any of my Pokemon. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's see how this plays out. It was a good call for me to go into Kingdra over Gyarados, because I really was going to go into the Gyarados, just so I could uh, go into that uh, that Geyser onto the T-Tar, and see if I could pick up the KO and get the Moxie Boost. But I am really liking this a lot more. There goes my Dance of Rains. Bring on the rain, baby. Bring it on here. Hey, yo, Sandstorm, get out of my face. We're not dealing with it. Taking weather control, rain is where it's at. Rain is the best weather. Here goes my worm win. I'm, I'm thinking this should be easy KO here, right? Get this thing out of my face. Get him out of here. Get him out of my face. Get him out of my game. Super effective. And then there's that big attack drop onto that Tyranitar, who's a huge physical attack. So I'm really liking that. Let's see what he goes for. He's gonna go for a slide full of rocks. That's easy eats, baby. Just like just a good old afternoon snack. Early afternoon snack couple pieces of fruit. We're gonna snack up there. Nice chippy whip piece. Goes on Regilecki, which I'm totally fine with. I can tailwind now for the whole team to get a little bit of speed. 
Why can't you go into a hurricane? Which is not very effective on both. But I could go for ducks. I think I'm just going to tail in for the rest of the squad. But I think he takes out my, my what's called right here. I think, he take, I think he takes me out here. I think Regilecki does have to go. So in that case, I will geyser. Just to get that bigger damage and get after this Regilecki. We just need speed here. Speed, speed, speed. Speed kills, baby. Speed kills. Get that more speed there. Geyser, if this thing's not Sash, it's pretty much GG from there. They'll be able to take out T-Tar, no problem, next turn. Let's we'll see if we get rid of this thing. We do, it's not Sash. Out my face, out my game. Get him out of here. <laughs> Rolling out real strong. There's another Rock Slide. Thank you, I don't need that Tornadus anymore. Tornadus goes down. I'm gonna bring out Gyarados, and I think a Waterfall can just easily KO. If not, I'll drop a, uh, a Geyser into that. But yo, we're sitting real good. He still has Dynamax. Titar, I'm really not worried about. I really am not worried about that thing too much. He's minus one. He can't drop a rock on me. But let's see what Pokemon he brings out as the final one. It's gonna be Incineroar. That's intimidating. It's gonna be decent. And who do I see him? Uh, I see him Dynamax at Titar, right? Probably just gonna fake me out, and I'm just gonna have to drop a Geyser. I'm gonna double up in the Tyranitar slot. Let's think to go home. Who do I have in the back end? Hmm, should I go after you? I go after you. But I do have that real boom. I'm gonna go after you. He might be policy. That's that's a real problem here. Who's gonna Dynamax? I really don't mind him Dynamaxing either of these Pokemon. I really don't mind it. Let's see. Is it gonna be a T-Tar? It's minus one on Tyranitar. It's gonna be the incident. We are dropping a big old guy on that thing. He's not faking me out, so I am gonna be able to get off a nice nice lovely waterfall here which might be able to pick up ko we'll see rain stab he's just gonna guard all right i'm with it he's gonna guard here guys are gonna get blocked and we still have another turn in our uh rain no more turns left in the dynamax here goes a waterfall can we ko with this we do not but next turn we will be able to unless the rock slide this kills we're just gonna drop a superpower which is easy eats easy eats so waterfall ko's that uh i could hydro pump did his attack drop? Because I might just double up into this instant or slot. Let me see this thing stats. Did that attack drop? Was that attacking D? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna double up into instant or slot. He's oh no, I do not want to run this battle. I do not want to run that battle. <laughs> I'm just gonna waterfall into you. I'm doubling up into you. I'm just gonna drop a nice lovely little hydro pump. See if we can pick up the KO on this thing. Battle was cancelled. Let's go. 2-0 dominating with this team as of now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment of truth. Looking for that perfect record for you guys. We're sitting 2-0, got back-to-back -back wins, made two people cancel, and we're looking to make this third one cancel. We're going up against a Galarian Moltres team. He also has Intimidate Landorus, the Galarian uh, Moltres, like I already said. He has the Entei, Lightning Rod Raichu, Tapu Fini, and Porygon 2 for Trick Room. Okay. Malwak has got to come in here. Just in case he Trick Rooms, we can have him in the back end. Well, not unless you're gonna get the lead, buddy. I just don't think I think Polytoad's not viable here. Like on the team, I love the team, but it's just like Tornadus overpowers him with the Rain Dance. So I can see like instances that Polytoad is there, so it is good that we have him. But I think I think we're fine with going into. I actually no Polytoad could be nice here. Cause I could go into Helping Hand. I could do a lot of things. I get Rain easily. But this is just easy Tailwind, you know. Hmm. Let's go into uh, let's go into Gyarados, let's go into Malwak, and then we're just gonna bring out Kingdra. It's gonna be a squad. It's gonna be a squad. We're gonna do it with these guys right here. But yeah, I, I, I think I take back what I said about Polyther. Now thinking about it, he rocks out really well because it's a free rain right off the rip, and then he can just go into a straight helping hand. So if you go Kingdra and Polyther, that's why that combo is so good. You get that rain boost, so you get that swift swim double speed, you get the stab damage, and then you get the rain boost on top of it, and then you just helping hand turn one. It's just massive damage for Kingdra. It's gonna lead the Raichu, and it's gonna lead the Finny of the Tapus. The Tapus of the Finnies. Okay. Okay, I see you. It's gonna Misty Surge all about. And how do I do this one? I could go for a Tailwind and I can Dynamax. But Actually, we are gonna do that. That's exactly what we're gonna do. He might fake me out. And in that case, I'm just gonna go for a Quake. I'm gonna get the special defense boost. And knock him down to a sash. It's gonna be genius play. 
It's gonna be Jeans' play. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how we rock out with this one. I think he might be looking for a fake out. But we're just gonna, we're getting out that, that, that early dive. I think I should have let that poly throw combo. Let's see what he does. I can always swap next turn. For like, uh, he's gonna end up Dynamax as well. Ooh. Ooh, we got ourselves a battle. We got ourselves a battle. Is he going for Raichu? That can be scary if he's going for Raichu. You never see a Dynamax Raichu. Okay, cool. He's going for the top of Finny. Which is totally fine by me. I'm with it all day. And I hope he's setting the rain for us. That would be lovely. Go for a geyser and a tornado. Let's see what he does. He's going for a fake out. There's the fake out on the Gyarados. Yo, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Here's my lovely little tailwind. And we'll get a special defense boost for the squad. Big old special defense boost, which you gotta love. Here's Quake. He's probably going for the Starfall. I got that Soul Fest and special defense boost now. And he is Sash. He is. If he wasn't Sash, that would have been GG's because Moxie would have been boosted. We would have been out and about. Okay. Um, what do I go from from here? I really want to get rid of that. Uh, that was going. Okay, so a hailstorm coming here. He's gonna take out his own Raichu. I love that turn. I love that turn so much because I'm gonna set rain next turn. I'm gonna get rolling from there. Special defense boost helps helps us eat up. Raichu, get out my face. You're dead. And we'll be able to get off a of rain dance. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm not worried about the Finny at all. I'm really not worried about this topic Finny at all. I can see a Landers coming in here. And if Landers does come in here, I don't see him eating up a, a, a Max Geyser in the rain. I just don't see that happening. But the Intimidate could be uh, still a little detrimental to us. Let's see who he goes in with. Let's see who he has. Do I have Rillaboom? I might have Rillaboom. No, I don't think I have Rillaboom. What's in the Porygon too? Let me see my Pokies. I don't have Rillaboom. Okay, I do not. Rillaboom would have been nice. So if he does go for a Trick Room, that's totally fine by me. I'm going to drop this Rain Dance. Get that rolling for, for the good guys. I could just Geyser into you. Hmm. It might end off dropping a Trick Room. We go for the Overgrowth. Overgrowth could be pretty good because I don't see that thing being off. I don't see that thing being uh, policy. But if he goes Trick Room, that's totally fine. Like I said, we have that Malwack in the back. There we go. We're going to set this rain. Just so I can have it. Help us out a little bit. And take away that Hail Buffets, which I really don't like at all. And here goes that Overgrowth. We're going to get a little bit of HP back at the end of every single turn. And how much damage are we really going to do on this thing? Maybe half? Yeah, maybe half. Pretty fair statement. It does bring that Porygon, which I don't like. I don't like that Porygon. Hopefully someone takes out my Tornadus. I really don't want to hear anymore. I'm going to go for a Starfall. Go into Tornadus. Take him out, please. Thank you. Okay, so Tornadus is gone. Um, depending on what this Porygon 2 does, will depend or will uh, make my choice of who, it go, who I go out into. If he goes Trick Room, we're bringing out Mawak. If he doesn't, we're going into our Swiss Room Danger. So let's see. What's this move? It's going to be an Ice Beam. Ice Beam, that's lovely. I don't mind that one bit. Top of Finny is scaring me a little bit here. Not even going to lie. Top of Finny is definitely scaring me. But I'm still going to bring out you and force a Starfall into my... Uh, into my Kingdra slot. So I'm going to protect here. And I'm just going to geyser over onto Porygon. Porygon, come here. Let's protect you. And then get after his Porygon. With the geyser. With a lovely little geyser. We know the Starfall is coming there. Like, there's no doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind. The thing that stinks is Kingdra does not have no boost. Like my Gyarados does. My Gyarados boosted in special defense. I think he, I think he Dynamax way too early with the Top Affinity. I think he really did. He Dynamax way too early with the Top Affinity, which might actually end up losing him in the match, but it's still pretty close as of right now. Wigon 2 is a tank. He can do a lot here. Here's my Protect. Mwah. Throw up a lovely little shield. Lovely little clear shield to protect my Pokemon from any harm. And he's going to... Ooh, are we sending an ally switch? All right, now we got a game. Now we got a game. Gotta love it. Gotta love the place. Guys, you can come out here. Top of Finney's gonna say, yo, that's a tasty snack. Eat that one up all day. I did more damage than I thought it would. Almost did as much as the, uh, what's it called, did. That <laughs> overgrowth. Here's the Starfall. We're able to eat that and waste out his final diamond. Okay. Alright, so we got speed. He gets a crit. Bruh. What you mean? <laughs> and there's my policy, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. We got problems now. We got problems now. Policy's out. Okay. 
Um, hmm. I definitely still want a Hydro Pump. I think Hydro Pump's play. We cannot go into a Draco Meteor considering it's going to be half damage to the terrain. I'm always thinking of that. Terrain's ain't getting them. Like, the terrain's not out and about, so we're fine. I think Hydro Pump is going to be play. I don't think he's going to ally switch. I think I just drop a huge old power whip. Pick up this double KO. Yep. No ally switch. Hydro Pump comes in, in here. Maybe he could pick up a KO. Let's see, let's see it happen. Oh my god. We almost just one tapped the Porygon too. That would have been a first. That would have been first. Power Whip comes in here. Tapu. You're not worthy. You're not worthy of hanging with us. Moxie's getting boosted. Look at that read. They're like, yo, he's not going for that ally switch. Oh, that's totally fine. You want to go into that? We're going to be able to eat it. We're special defense boosted and we're assault vested, so. Easy eats, baby. Easy eats. Loving this. Loving the assault vest on this Pokemon. Usually I like to run like Life Orb or like Lumberry on this Gyarados, but I, I think assault vest is a great option here as well. Alright, so we know we outspeed. Um we're good for the hurricane, because I don't think Hydro Pump's gonna hit again. Actually, yeah, it is. Hydro Pump's definitely hitting it again. <laughs> we're going for it. Hydro Pump. And then Geyser. Let's see, make it happen. Hydro Pump, connect. It does! Let's go! <laughs> that should be game. That should be game. Moltres, do me a favor. Get out my game. Get out of here. Why have we been playing so good? We've been playing so good. Another perfect record. Another perfect record. Let's get it. Moxie Gyarados clutches up and we dominate today's video. Moxie Gyarados is still a god on the rank double ladder. Oh my lord, he is so dominant. It is insane. We just dominated all three battles, got ourselves another perfect record for today's video, and showed off this team to its fullest potential. One last shout out to my boy Dan for dropping this in my Instagram DMs. Guys, like I said, if you want to leave me teams, there's a link to my Instagram down in the description below, or my name is right below my face cam. And if you want to see any of the stats on this team, the Pokey Pace is down in the description as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you press the positive every day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.